Hey everyone, Flay here. Today I'll be making a guide to help you understand on how to gear up properly at endgame on Final Fantasy XIV. Now the principal reason why I am making this video for is because I see a lot of players get confused by what set they should go for because they were provided by only one specific set by the balance and they see other players using different gear sets but still clearing content and also passing higher than them. Now a disclaimer here, I am not against the balance by any means. The balance resources provide you with the best possible set available on paper and it is always good to go for that. However, there are other alternatives that you may not know that may save your time while gearing up. Let's start off by comparing two different sets for the samurai. On top we have the balance BIS set and on the bottom we have an alternative gear set. As you can see here, the balance BIS set is 8870.63 simulated DPS and the alternative set is 8870.31 simulated DPS, that is 0.32 DPS in difference. However, the key point here is the balance BIS uses more tomes than the alternative set. This means you need two extra weeks of tome grinding to get the balance BIS rather than just going for this set. Now you might be wondering why myself as a high-end raider I am suggesting you to use a suboptimal gear set. The reason for this I care a lot about time efficiency. I personally don't think that 2 weeks of extra tome grinding is worth that minor DPS increase which is going to be bypassed by just skill variants. This ends up being the result of why a lot of players keep questioning why the top one parser of the samurai ends up using this specific alternative set rather than the balanced BIS and including me as a content creator for a lot of samurai content also is using the non-BIS set. I have cleared DSR, I also pass high as well and this is a result of why I went for this set is all because I have to grind 2 weeks less and I can invest 2 weeks of grinding tomes onto other jobs and enjoy gearing other jobs due to how tedious Final Fantasy XIV's gearing system is. Now let's take a look at yet another gear set that you could go for. So let's say in your static or on PF you roll for the headpiece of Asphodelos. You could still use it and get a 2.14 GCDTA while minimizing your losses compared to the BIS. So here I'm going to change this to the headpiece of Asphodelos which has critical hit and skill speed. And you see here the DPS just jumps to 63.46 in difference. But I can change this further by changing the food to pumpkin potage. The reason why I chose this food is because a lot of jobs including healer and tanks use this food. So if you play multiple jobs you could just use one food across all the jobs you want to play. Here the critical hit is overcapped so I'm going to change that to determination and here you see the DPS difference is only 32.24 which is extremely negligible as well because just by having crit and direct hit and damage variants RNG you are just going to bypass this difference. So now let's say a new TA just came out and you're wondering which set is best for you. The theory crafters from Balance are of course going to be working on a new gear set but however this often takes time. How can you know by yourself which set is best for you? How do you gear up efficiently is by first focusing on the highest item level possible but then next on to the meld priority. Keep in mind the important part here is the meld priority because if you just go for item level you are going to have massive gaps in DPS differences from the BIS set. And just like that you will be able to gear up any job you want and play efficiently and clear any content and still pass high, by high I mean 99s, just by focusing on what I just told you. Now let's take a look at my gear set for Reaper. You will notice that the set I use is slightly different from what the balances BIS is. The reason for this is when I was gearing my Reaper I just slapped in the alternative right side for my Samurai and then on the left side I just focused the highest item level possible and I just followed the male priority. I am not using the optimal stat tier on the material right here as well, is just random materials focused on the male priority. Yet despite that I can clear any content on Reaper, I can still post 99s on Reaper. As you can see here the critical hit, the determination, the direct hit rate is off from what the balances BIS is. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.